Hey guys, Sean with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got a 2017 GMC Sierra 2500 Dirty Max. It's going to be on six and a half inches of BDS lift, some forged wheels, and some 35s, I think. Let's go. So like I said, it's gonna have the six and a half inch BDS. So you'll see upper control arms, some Fox 2.0s. I'm betting those are gonna be the aftermarket uppers that you can also get from Zone. And then it's got the Fox 2.0s in the rear. And you'll see he went with the five inch block. So if you sneak around here, and look up that way, Walter, you'll see that five inch block in there. And this is attention to detail. You're gonna hear this all day. This is gonna be paint to match, to match the truck. And so is the upper bracket on top of the leaf pack there. And then as far as wheels and tires, these are gonna be the center line fours. I know we brought to these to you guys in a hot new back in SEMA last year. And I have not seen a set in person since then, um, which it's cool to be able to see them on a truck now. And you're gonna see that that's a 20, 20 by 12, 22 by 12 negative 44 offset, and it's gonna get that full six inch lip. It's probably about six and a quarter. So getting the most lip out of it because forged wheel, you'll get a perfectly straight spoke on it, which is gonna give you all sorts of lip. The other thing on this wheel is you're gonna see that it's got a curved face on it, which is different from all the other wheels in the whole world being the flat face that's out there right now. The other thing we were just kind of looking at is all of the milling. They left the milling marks in it, which is very cool and gives it a second level of decal, detail. And then you'll see all the spokes are directional and the other sets running directional also. So you have two for the driver's side, two for the passenger side, which is a forged wheel thing. Remember when you buy cast wheels, you're not gonna get that. I've been asked to remind people that. And then those are gonna be wrapped in the Nittle Ridge Grappler. Remember this is gonna be our 12 ply rated tire, which is perfect for these big, heavy three quarter tons. And then those are gonna be the 35, 12 and a half. So that combo together on that six and a half means not a ton of trimming. You'll see it's got a tiny bit of rubber. It's gonna catch a little bit of that. And then same thing in the back. I'm sure he gets a little bit at full crank, but because he's got the five inch block in the back and he's got this, the front cranked up, that lift is actually probably a little bit over the six and a half inches up front because the way it's designed is that you'd leave that front down, but then you've got all the rake in the vehicle it just doesn't have that clean look that we're all looking for. So front to back, there is a whole bunch going on. I'm gonna try to take my time and catch it all, but I'll have the owner of the truck yell at me if I screw it up. So front to back, you're gonna see custom headlights. You'll see this is all paint to match inside of here. Or black, I think it's paint to match. So those were pulled apart, these are the stock lights. And then same thing, paint to match all the way around the grill. Paint to match, paint to match inside of here. Every single detail you'll see has been brought to the color of the truck, which is a slate metallic. And then you'll see, of course, your Duramax emblems and everything, your black out roof lights, cab lights. You'll see 40% tint on the windshield. And then the whole truck's gonna have 5% as we go. Paint to match here paint some match on the mirrors. So just cleaning everything up. Those are gonna be the stock step bars. 
And then like I said, the 5% tint. Tonneau cover is a soft cover, which I was surprised to see. It's by Revolution, but it's completely flat. So you see it's got one of the lowest profile I've seen. It's almost as low as that one, the um, Lomax that we put on CO2, but that one's a hard cover. This is a soft cover that actually sits just, just about as flat. And then back here, you're gonna see paint to match on the tailgate handle. And then factory comes paint to match for the bumper. And then on the emblems, both front and back, you'll see he did the carbon fiber inside of them just to really clean them up. And then spray tint on the rear tails, third brake light to clean those up. And then painted glass, super dark tint on the back, all 5%. Then inside, you'll see all the options. He's got the sunroof, the leather, the really cool dark wood grain interior set off with the silver. And then same thing, if you look down underneath at the suspension with the skid plates and everything, I believe those are all paint to match, right? It looks like, yeah, so that's all paint to match also. That is just dead sexy. So it's the fine details on this one and then also obviously starting with beautiful truck with the 2017 Sierra 2500. I don't know, Walter, I think this might be your new favorite. You usually pick your favorites as we go and I think this might be it again. So that is it, the 2017 GMC Sierra 2500, three quarter ton on some F80P centerline forged 20 by 12s and some 35s. Six and a half inch BDS box shocks. Peace.